If you have been wondering how to paint great hair, this is your day. This is hair day. What if Barth White is going to show you how to paint the texture of hair and how to give hair that, that sense of softness and that wonderful feeling? She is a master at painting hair, and you're going to get a chance to see how to paint hair today, and, and you can see that she does a lot of different styles and approaches, so uh, you'll get a chance to see that today. So hang around here, and we're going to learn to paint hair. Also, today's prize is the easel brush clip. You'll have an opportunity to win the easel brush clip. All you got to do is leave a comment, tell us where you're from, and we will pick a winner uh, from the replays and from the live. So uh, go ahead and make sure you leave a comment today. All right, you guys ready to roll? Let's get this baby started. It's Art School Live with Eric Rose. Now, here's your host. Eric Rose. Well, happy Monday, everybody. I hope you had a really terrific weekend. If you didn't see over the weekend, I uh, posted something on Instagram and Facebook where I took this brand new blue. Uh, professors at the University, I think, of Oregon just invented a new pigment, and it's called Yin Min Blue, and I got a tube of it. It's very expensive. It was $75 a tube, and I wanted to uh, show how I mix it and 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 how it compares to some of the other blues on the market. It's very exciting. So if you want to see that, just go over to my Instagram and follow me or uh, go over to uh, Facebook and follow me and you can find it on there. Uh, by the way, if you want to follow the show, follow it at Streamline Art on YouTube and also follow me on Instagram. Make sure you hit the little notification bell on YouTube. Okay, remember, we're going to be painting hair today with Gwyneth Barth White. And uh, we're going to get right to it. Tomorrow's guest is going to be Michelle Byrne. You don't want to miss that. Gwyneth, what are you going to do today? Tell us exactly what your plan is. Well, my plan is to uh, paint hair or show how to deal with hair. Your hair is a strategy. And you want to uh, be careful if you're painting hair with a portrait. That is part of the portrait. So you don't want it to um, steal the show from the portrait. But if you're painting the hair itself, and that's what I'm going to be doing, I'm painting the hair itself with this. I have beautiful hair in sunlight, and that is my subject. So okay. that, is, that is what I want to show. Great. Why don't you get your camera set up? We'll be right back with you. Okay. Let's All right. Our guest today is Gwyneth Barth White, and you're going to learn how to paint hair. And it's interesting, you know, Max Ginsburg was teaching me how to paint hair one time. He said, everybody always goes with the strokes. He said, I always go opposite the strokes or the, the, the like. So I'll be curious to see how she does it. Uh, I want to remind you guys that uh, we are coming up on the deadline for pastel live. I want to tell you about it real quickly. Have you ever wanted to learn to paint in pastel, but don't think you have the talent? Most master artists will tell you that painting is a skill anyone can learn. If you follow a process, you too can paint beautiful artwork. You could spend 3000 or more to attend a live workshop or convention. Or you can learn from the world's finest for a fraction of the cost at Pastel Live, the world's first virtual online art conference devoted to pastels. Three days of world-class artists demonstrating in portraiture, landscapes, still life, the human figure, cityscapes, color mixing, and more. Get to know other artists and instructors personally through our breakout sessions. And we'll even paint and draw together at the end of each day in the safety of your own home. Make new friends in our breakout sessions. Paint with hundreds of others. Get private access to our exclusive members group to become part of our community and learn to take your artwork to a higher level. Pastel Live is three full days of pastel instruction from the world's best, August 19th through the 21st. And for people who want to learn painting from scratch, start with our Beginner's Day on August 18th. Soon you'll be painting faces, people, flowers, scenery, objects, and other subjects. You'll see your artwork improve faster as you learn from top artists and instructors from all over the world. 
Sign up today and join the world as we learn art together from these amazing artists. Peter Adams, Marla Baguetta, Stephanie Birdsall, Terry Ford, Albert Hendow, Barbara Chenicki, Kim Lordier, Kung Nguyen, William A. Schneider, Aaron Shore, Jill Stephanie Wagner, Tara Will, Tony Allain, Deborah Stewart, Desmond O'Hagan, Lana Ballot, Gwyneth Barth White, and many more to be announced. Why not use this time to learn a new skill so you can amaze your friends and family with your paintings? Pastel Live from the publishers of Plein Air Magazine. Sign up before August 15th and save up to $300 off the retail price. Are lots of faculty members who were not mentioned on that video yet. We need to update that. If you want to see it, go to pastellive.com. Remember, sign up by the 15th to get your uh, savings of $300. Uh, the earlier you get in, the, the more you save. And remember, our guest today, Gwyneth Bart White, is going to be teaching on there. Today, she's going to teach you about hair. And we have, uh, looks like she's got her camera all set up and, and ready to go. So, Gwyneth, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to you. Okay, well, hi. <laughs> hi again. And uh, I just wanted to, to show just the two different strategies for hair. This is, I'll, I'll be painting a, a young girl on the balcony with her hair in the sun. And this is the same girl that I painted, but this is her portrait. And you notice that the hair is subdued here. And that's what I want to do to bring out her face. So, um, I just wanted to show how to um, to paint the hair here. I, I've kind of blocked in uh, just so the general uh, light um, idea. And the thing is that this this hair is really in the light. It's really strongly in the light. Um, so I have the 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 values um, kind of set up. And I'm looking for the darkest darks and the lightest lights. And I want to bring out the beautiful, beautiful feeling of, of a river that's in the light here. So um, I just wanted to show you also some of the, the colors that I use to start out with. And I've painted the local color here. And because for in the same time, this is going to show um, how to uh, deal with highlights. You need to have the local color in first before you get the highlights out. And so what's this, uh, the, the whole uh, idea with Leah's hair um, is that there is an underlying structure there and then on top of it uh there's like this sea foam this is you see the waves like the sea and there's like a sea foam of hairs that that sort of keep you from completely seeing what's going on so in order to bring out the lights i need something darker i need a mid-tone behind it um underneath it and I'm going to start with the warmer colors. I have uh, warmer colors here. And I'm using relatively um, hard pastels because for some reason, this is, um, they're taking very well on the, on this board. This is a gritty board. It's an archival gritty board. Can you say what the brand is? Yeah, this is Dakota Pastel Premier. They have these wonderful, uh, just um, boards that, uh, well, the paper's on these uh, museum boards. And, and what are the pastels that you're using? I'm using um, Giro right now. I'm using Giro, uh, that's a little softer. And some of these are like new pastels also. How do you spell uh, Giro? Is that a French? Yes, that's a French make. It, it's a beautiful pastel. It's G-I-R-A-U-L-T. 
see here I'm, I'm starting to bring out the lights. Now if you put lights on with, without preparing them, they look like, like something pasty. And what I'm, I'm seeing, there's so much going on in this hair, you know, that um, there's also a lot of uh, reflected light, like everything that we paint, everything we see has reflected light, but especially in the sun, you're going to have a lot of the reflected light from the uh, sky. And so you're going to have some blues in here. She has this wonderful red hair. It's like a dream. And you're going to find blues and and some greens from the from the grass. And um, there's like a ripple effect. Almost, I want, you see, I have a bit of the base from the, um, just the, the block in that I put in. And I'm looking for uh, some, something that will work for, uh, see, that's a bit too much. Now, why am I wearing gloves? I'm wearing gloves for this very reason, so I can, I can, um, if I see something is a little too much, you see, I need to I need to play with these uh, complementary colors also, and that's going to make the uh, the oranges of the hair sing. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> right, it does. I mean, <laughs> colors sing. That's wonderful. Uh, you have, by the way, uh, Gwyneth, you have an audience all around the world. I saw Oman. I saw. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I saw India. Oh, Let's my see. Lord. You guys, make sure you tell us where you're from so we can we can mention it. Um, well, oh, I, I, I grew up in Switzerland. I've only been back in the States for um, 10 years. Wow. Portugal. I, uh, Switzerland um, in uh, Geneva. Nice, nice. Oh, I met Portugal is watching. <laughs> oh, really? Oh my yeah. goodness, that's you, you, that's a little terrifying, you know, all of this. Oh yeah, well, don't worry about this. There's only about a hundred thousand people that are going to see this by the end of the day. <laughs> oh don't be dear. Nervous. No, <laughs> no reason to be nervous, right? So, it's um, this is the type of thing you just get into, and um which is hopefully what I'll do. I just love this. I love this feeling of, of, of sunlight. And well, quite frankly, it looked pretty bright uh, even before you started adding those highlights, but it really <laughs> makes a big difference. Well, and I want to see um, if I can get a little bit more of the blues in there without sort of it, maybe something darker. Let's see. Maybe now, when not. you say the blues, you want you mean the blues from the sunlight? The... Yes, right, right. You see, there there are some of these reflected, uh, and it just uh, it's sort of you know if I if I just kept it all in that um, that one zone of of uh, warm colors. It would also get boring. I, you always need a little bit of complementary colors fed into what you're doing to um, to, to just, uh, again, make things sing, <laughs> which is what they do. Let me see if I've got a blue here. I uh, just want Gwyneth, when you're on Pastel Live, you're probably going to be doing the full thing, the underpainting and everything. What are you uh, I do? have the underpainting, and I've, I've, I'm doing. Oh, it's been so excited! It's, it's. I, I tried it just once before, but this is the only time I've, I've actually finished a portrait, uh, using texture, uh, in the background, and it's, it's, it was, it's really been, 
amazing. How exciting. Uh, it, it was just like an eye opener. It's sort of like, I, I just want to redo everything with that, with that uh, technique. I love texture in paintings. Mm. Let's see if I can get down here. And some of these are just a little, a little too light. And I'm seeing purples in there, some purples. Now, what are you using for a reference? I have a, a photograph okay. of, of, my, of my girl. She's a beautiful, wonderful model. Now, do you hire models? How do you deal with models? I, I hire models. Now, tell us about that because while you're painting, because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are curious about how that's done. Well, it's, it's a bit difficult because um, you need to have a, a real feeling for that person and it, it just sort of look at somebody and say, I really want to paint that person. And this young girl, uh, she was actually walking in, in, a, in a big store in Walmart actually <laughs> with her mom and I'm there. And I'm, and it was like one of these moments where, where I thought, my goodness, there's a, a Van Eyck angel walking with her mom and Isla in, in Walmart, pushing, um, pushing a shopping cart. And uh, it was just, it took me forever to get up to her and, and uh, you know, ask her mom if she could come and sit for me. You know, that's very delicate. People think you're crazy or you're an axe murderer or something. So that's, that's the difficulty. I mean, I've been a portrait painter, in fact, most of my life. And uh, now I'm just painting the people that, I just painting for myself, which is wonderful. You're not doing commissions anymore. No. Yeah, I went so up to a I went up to a girl with with pink hair <laughs> in, in the gym one day, and I said, "I know this is going to sound like a pickup line, <laughs> and <laughs> it's not." I said, "I'm married with kids and not interested in that. I am uh, I'm interested in having you model." And I immediately pulled out my phone and said, "Here's some of the the portraits that I've done," mm -hmm. and she just got up and walked away. I mean, I think she. <laughs> Thought I was a, an axe murderer or something. Well, I even said, bring, you know, bring your husband or boyfriend so that you mm -hmm. know that you feel safe, and I'll pay. But so it is delicate. It's very delicate. Well, I I kind of uh, give out my card and say, listen, I don't ask for their their um, references. I say, listen, uh, look me up, and if you if you think that looks good, get, you know, call me. And so I was asking if you part. ever use pan pastels. Excuse me? No, I don't. I don't. I love the feeling, and this is something, hey, this is something you won't get with oils, is this wonderful feeling of grazing over darks. Look at that. With I'm sorry about that. Uh, with with a pastel. This is a, a Giro. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, I guess I'm a bit jittery here. You get this wonderful feeling of of light over dark. And in, in oil, you know, um, the oil doesn't have the same refractive uh, index. It, it, uh, it goes transparent when it uh, dries. So if you work on the dark uh, substrate, you're gonna end up with something that's a bit gloomy over time. I've, I've been in, in uh, galleries and museums where they had the 19th century, uh, the 17th century, excuse me, uh, painters and there, they were gloomy, gloomy, gloomy. I was happy to get to the impressionists. Well, the dark, the dark, yeah, they need to put them out in the sun for a couple of days. The dark well, will go away. But I, I find that true with oils too. You know, I've, I've, I'm trying to lighten up something that I made too dark and it keeps sinking in and still is dark. Mm -hmm. And uh, so maybe I need to get some oil sticks, lay it huh. over it. So here you see what I'm gonna be doing is I'm using a harder pastel to go over what I've done because it's it looks a little strange. It sort of pops out and I'm just gra grazing over it. 
Hold on. Well, <laughs> she disappeared. I think she she uh, hit her camera off or something, and so we'll wait till for her to come back in. And and so I want to say hi to everybody in the Dreamliners. In case you're wondering, the Dreamliners is a group that was founded because of these broadcasts. People got to the point where they liked talking to each other every day and communicating and making friends. And as a result, at one point when I said I was going to stop doing the broadcast during COVID, which was two weeks into it, I ended up doing it a year. But uh, they started the Dreamliners group. And anybody can join. You just go to Instagram or go to Facebook and search Dreamline Art Artists and uh, you can become a member. And I have nothing to do with it other than the fact that they are uh, people who watch this broadcast. And so you can learn that. Hopefully, Gwen Gwyneth will come back in here in a second. And we were learning a lot about painting hair. Um, and I'm stalling. I don't know if you've noticed that. But uh, anyway, uh, hello in the comments. I'm talking to people all around the world. I see another India. Uh, I see, well, lots of people throughout the United States. So thank you all for the for the viewing, California, Illinois, um, lots, lots of you. Uh, and let me just tell you about a couple other things real quickly too. Um, the winner of the value specs from the last broadcast on Wednesday is Laura Langling in Iowa, Laura Langling in Iowa. And so she's the winner. Today's prize is the easel brush clip. Uh, and you can win it from comments, uh, comments, say where you're from, and that will be helpful. And I should also mention to you that we have a um, wonderful uh, ebook called uh, 45 Pastel Pointers from the Pros. And uh, it's at, you go to pastellive.com slash 45 tips and you can get that if you want to learn all about pastel. We have a beginner's day on Pastel Live. And the beginner's day is designed for people who want to learn the very, very core basics about materials and how to use them and the different kinds of strokes and things. And so we have a full day of beginner's day that you can attend just the beginner's day. And of course you can add to it the three days of pastel live, which is coming up and it's coming up in August. And uh, we have a world-class faculty and uh, you know, we're, we, everything you see is live. Now we don't put them into other rooms and hide them so that you have to pay more money so that you can, you can watch it another time. No, no, everything is live. And so you can see the whole thing live three days uh, and four days with the with the um, beginner's day. And so check it out at pastel.com. And um, again, Gwyneth, who uh, just stepped out for a second, uh, hopefully she'll come back, uh, is on the faculty. Uh, Peter Adams from the California Art Club. Uh, we also have Kim Casebeer and uh, Margla, Marla Baguetta, uh, who's fabulous, does a lot of online teaching, uh, Desmond O'Hagan and, um, Aaron Schur, among others. And so we just have a lot for you on that. I want to mention also, in case you missed it in the beginning, uh, we're watching Gwyneth uh, Barth White, and uh, we're, I'm showing you some of the images of some of the hair. So she's showing you how to do that. And and uh, I think it's fascinating to see, you know, the idea of kind of gla glazing and layering. Uh, should also mention to you that I do a blog called Sunday Coffee, and you can subscribe for free. I do it every Sunday. Once in a while, I'll skip and repeat. But um, usually I write something special each Sunday morning. And uh, you can find it at coffeewitheric.com. And you can subscribe uh, to get that. All right. Uh, also should mention to you that uh, I have a podcast called the Plen Air Podcast. Uh, this uh, last one that I posted is a really good one with CW Monday. It's called The Principles of Painting. We recorded it at the Publishers Invitational. And Principles of Painting uh, was uh, really popular, getting a lot of comments on that. Also, the next podcast coming up is going to be Larry Moore. I've recorded it, and it's going to be fabulous. It should be posted here uh, in another few days. So, so make sure you watch for that. I have another podcast called The Art Marketing Minute, Proven Techniques for Turning Your Passion into Profit. And, of course, I have a book. Uh, make more money selling your art. And that's a great one to help you out. So again, I apologize. I know you guys are waiting for Gwyneth to come back. And for whatever reason, she's not back. We'll just stall for another minute or so. And if not, well, we got at least we got a decent lesson. But for whatever reason, she dropped out. If you want to find all the stuff that we do, just go to streamlinepublishing.com slash everything. We just do lots. We start out with the magazines and then we end up with lots of other things. So we have uh, uh, the magazine, Plein Air Magazine and Fine Art Connoisseur, 
Glenn Ayers, the number one selling art magazine in Barnes and Noble nationwide. Uh, I don't know about this year because the COVID year, everything's different, but uh, it was. And we also recently found out we're in Michael's uh, stores now, 278 stores. If it's not in your stores, you can certainly uh, go to the store and ask. Um, and if you want to learn painting from the beginning, I have a video. It's called The Easiest Way in the World to Learn Painting if You Have No Talent. And I've taken a uh, the principle of a music keyboard and the principle of values and shown you essentially how to create value paintings uh, so you can really learn painting easily. And then I show you step-by-step step how to take it to the next level and so on. So uh, anyway, that's that's the, the stall. I'm not sure how much longer I stall. I'm going to go to the comments here and see what you guys are saying. Uh, thank you. Somebody said they love Sunday coffee. Uh, I love my heart in digital magazine with 20% more content. I should mention that. So in Plein Air Magazine, uh, if you buy the digital edition, uh, you get 20% more content because with print, you know, it's expensive. And so we always have more images that we can't publish. So in the digital version of the magazine, we always add 20% more content. And of course, a lot of people get both because you can look at it right away digitally when it comes to you. And of course, you can, uh, you can see the extra content uh, that way, but you can also get the printed version. And I know a lot of people keep them all. So that's pretty cool. Um, somebody Lambda says they love the P the CW podcast as she listened on her trip to Montana last month. Where are you guys? Uh, what are you doing? Put in the comments what you're doing uh, now that, uh, you know, COVID is, I wouldn't say it's over, but it's at a different phase. And uh, are you traveling? Are you getting out? What are you doing? What are you spending your time doing? I'd love to see that. Um, anyway, I don't know if, if Gwyneth is going to make it back. Um, we're almost out of time anyway. So I think what we'll do is we'll wait another minute or so and see how she finishes that hair, but we might lose her completely. And so I apologize for that. Uh, but that's why I, I have to learn to stall, right? <laughs> I should mention to you guys, if I, if you didn't see it in the beginning, uh, over the weekend, I, I had bought a tube of this Yin Min Blue from Gamblin. It's a $75 tube of paint. It's a brand new pigment. It's very rare. It's very hard to get. And they made paint uh, out of it. And uh, I bought a tube and I tested it against cerulean blue, cobalt blue, um, brilliant blue, ultramarine blue, and maybe something else. And, and then I showed mixing it with white, mixing it with color, uh, with yellow. So it's just to see what the comparison is, to see if it's a lot different. Then I painted with it all day yesterday on a big painting, I'm working on a, like a 40 by 60 and it, it's a big one I've got to get done in the next couple of weeks because it's a commission. And uh, so anyway, I'm excited about playing with that and it's been really an interesting experience. Um, once in a while, I'll spend a lot of money for a tube of paint. I mean, some paint is definitely worth the difference. Uh, the jury is out on whether or not this is, but it's certainly innovative of them to try it. And I think I applaud them for doing it. And finally, somebody came out with that color. I don't know if anybody else has got it out or not, but. I'll find out soon. Anyway, that's uh, what I did this weekend. If you have not yet followed me, I uh, would appreciate it. Follow me on YouTube uh, at Streamline Art or on uh, Facebook. Make sure you hit the notification button on YouTube so you get notified. Just follow me on Facebook. That would be helpful too. Well, I don't think Gwyneth is going to come back, so I think we're going to have to end it today. My apologies for stalling and for uh, giving you <laughs> uh, half of, half of a, a broadcast. And, but it doesn't look like, you know, they're probably, maybe their internet went out or something struggling with that. So I apologize. Anyway, I'm Eric Rhodes, publisher of Fine Art Connoisseur Plein Air Magazine. And I appreciate you tuning in today and hanging out with me. And I hope that you'll share uh, these broadcasts so your friends can see them. Even this one, I mean, there's value in what we saw and uh, she did a terrific job and I wanna thank her. A reminder that Gleneth is gonna be on Pastel Live, and uh, and uh, our guest today was Gwyneth Barth White. So anyway, thank you for watching today, and uh, put some comments in so you can win the prizes. I'm Eric Rhodes, publisher, fine art connoisseur in Plain Air Magazine. I'm sorry again for stalling, but have a terrific day. Bye-bye.